Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and um, we of course are going to look at the magnifier options in Windows 10. We did the video on Windows 11 if you have not seen it. On Windows 10, slightly different once again, but we are going to show you where this is. Magnifier is a great tool for people that have visual disabilities and making the screen bigger and zooming in. And we're going to look at all the options. Once again, same uh, keys, the same um, shortcuts are available for the magnifier. So if from the start you have a hard time seeing the screen, then you can actually activate the magnifier by pressing the Windows key and the plus key on your keyboard. This automatically will start the magnifier. So you're already starting with a magnification of 200 as you see here. And want to get out? Well, all you have to do is Windows key once again and the escape key on your keyboard will bring you back to normal. So great shortcut to remember if you need to have the magnifier and have a hard time finding it or have a hard time seeing where to click in the settings app. Well, the keyboard shortcuts are very useful for that. So once again, Windows key plus key and Windows key escape to get out. Right click on your start button and go into settings. In the settings, you will go into ease of access. And this is where the magnifier will be on the left side of your screen. Here, you will of course have the turn on magnifier. You have the zoom level, which is set automatically at 200%. And uh, of course, you will have the options like in Windows 11 to have docked full screen or lens. So for example, if I started, we're going to go in the magnifier. Remember that there's a toolbar in the magnifier on the upper left of your screen. Usually that is where it appears, where you have the zoom levels that you can use. You have, of course, the play and the uh, different buttons for media that you might be listening to. Remember there's an option which gives you the possibility to read from a certain area of your screen. So when you activate it, if you go on your screen and you click text somewhere, it will actually read from the area that you have selected. So you have to, of course, activate it, then just have the magnifier. Have magnifier follow. Here you go. So it makes you read just one part of that screen or that text. So if you need to have it read to you because it's easier, simply click on the icon, click on the phrase. Press Control plus Alt plus Spacebar to temporarily show and the entire screen have when zoomed in. The option to uh, have the uh, screen or the text read to you. Of course, settings for the speed of the read text. And of course, the voice that you might want from Microsoft, David, Linda, Zero, and so on. You just choose the voice that you want to have. Now, um, in here, you, of course, have the option to go onto the screen. Like I said, you have also another option, and the option is to have the text um, in a different format. So here we have, let me just... There we go. Reading. This is good. Uh, this is for the narrator options. Okay. So magnifier. We are here. Let's go to the options here. It's As you see, it's a little difficult sometimes to really uh, find the different options you need. But it's there. And the magnifying is, of course, there to help you out. Uh, in your screen. Now, uh, the magnifier options that you have, and here they are, magnifier view, is either full screen or you can have docked, which means that the screen is at a normal size, but there's a portion at the top of the screen that you can, of course, make bigger or smaller, depending on what you want, to view what's actually your mouse pointer is pointing at. So, you can have still the standard you know, screen, but the magnified option at the top. Once again, like it's like one of those magnifying glasses that they sell for a book reading. And you can also choose the lens option. It's like having a 
rectangle magnifying glass, which will, of course, be the region where you make things bigger. So as your mouse pointer goes over the options or the screen, you will actually have that part of the screen bigger in Windows at the same time. So depending on what option you want to have, what option for you is the more interesting and easiest to use. And of course, the uh, different options of the magnifying, uh, you can really have things really, really get bigger and bigger. So the magnifier is there. And uh, one option also that is useful for some, there is a option where you can actually have the magnifier start at the uh, sign-in. So if you uh, have the option of you need the magnifier from the start, you can put these check marks, start magnifier after signing in, or start magnifier before sign-in for everyone, which means that it will be started when you actually turn on your PC already. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and hope you enjoy our views of the different accessi accessibility features of Windows, in this case, Windows 10, in the ease of access in the magnifier.